In this country, we have got into the habit of conflating immigration policy on the one hand with border management and border security on the other. In fact, they are separate. Of course, we implement immigration policy at our borders. But borders are a great deal more. Borders also are the, th are the point through which goods transit, legal and illegal. Illegal cigarettes, weapons, explosives, drugs. A whole range of goods flow through our borders that have to be processed and policed, not only just people. So I'm going to separate these two things out. And let me talk a bit about borders first. This country does not have a national border strategy. Even Albania has a national border strategy. The Republic of Tajikistan in Central Asia has a national border strategy. This country does not. A national border strategy would bring together all of the efforts of all of the agencies that work on our borders and land, air, sea, bring them together to achieve one set of agreed goals. It would create unity of effort and it would create cohesion on our borders. When we don't have that, we have inefficiency and we have gaps. I, as leader of this party, will lobby extremely hard for the government to immediately start work on the development of a national border strategy, a comprehensive strategy. And I would lobby extremely hard for the resources to be ring-fenced and secured for the implementation of that strategy. This is not rocket science. This I have done. I drafted the national border strategy for Macedonia. I drafted the national border strategy for the Rep Republic of Tajikistan. And I have helped some 14 other countries to do the same. And this country hasn't yet even started to think about it. This party will demand that the British government starts work on that without any more delay. If our borders are not well managed, the day after we leave the customs union, there is going to be chaos. That's not because we're leaving the customs union. It is because, as I've said before many times, the British government has failed to plan and prepare and put the necessary resources in place. And we, and I as your leader, will hold the government to account for that failure. 